Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the Spongebob episode A Day Without Tears requested by Mike Quattrochi. A Day Without Tears is about when Squidward bets Spongebob that he can't cry for a whole day and Squidward gets really annoyed of him just crying all the time. Spongebob has to try to go a day without crying no matter how hard he wants to cry and Squidward obviously he's not going to make it any easier on Spongebob. A Day Without Tears is an enjoyable episode. The plot to this episode is decent but it's really nothing special. The flaws that A Day Without Tears does suffer from is just like I said the whole idea of this episode being made because the plot's good. I was never bored watching it or anything like that. It's just an episode that just seemed unnecessary. I just didn't like Squidward in this episode. I did not like how he just kept doing things and doing things just to make Spongebob cry for Pete's sakes. That's what makes, uh, that's, isn't that considered like cheating? Like seriously, the dude is like cheating his way for Spongebob to cry so he could win the bet. The beginning with Spongebob crying. It's uh, kind of funny, I'll admit. It gave me maybe a couple of little laughs. I found it to be annoying and I found it to be pathetic. The things he would be crying about. I know it was meant for comic relief, but to me it was annoying. It was stupid. There was this other scene. It frustrates and annoys the living hell out of me. This was the scene where Squidward, he has the TV on, he wants to show Spongebob all of the past times that he was crying. But when Squidward turned on the TV, there were no flashbacks to the past Spongebob episodes showing Spongebob crying. You know what they show? Just Spongebob crying and all they do is change the background while he's crying. It wasn't even a flashback to the past episodes. I know the writers obviously are not up for continuity most of the time, but seriously, respect the show and just show the damn flashbacks from the past episodes instead of you stupid writers just having the sponge cry changing the background. Are you just plain lazy? <sighs> I just felt like the writers disrespected Spongebob because obviously they were too lazy to show footages from the past episodes. I know that shouldn't bug me, but it really does bug me. If this bugs any of you out there, please let me know. I want to know I'm not the only one that feels that way. It, doesn't, it shouldn't bug me, but still, I just... <clears throat> Overall, I could say a very memorable plot. It has interesting elements and there are some funny humor. Patrick, he has a very small role here, but the small role he had in this episode, that was hilarious. And overall, it had an enjoyable plot. You could guess what's going to happen in the ending. I won't spoil it, but it was pretty funny. The ending was... The ending was a little mixed for me because... I'm happy at what happened, but at the same time, it felt lazy to me at the same time. Despite the problems that this episode has, my biggest problem unfortunately being uh, no actual footage from the past episodes being shown, plus the fact that Squidward said that Spongebob could never, ever, ever go one day without crying. We've seen episodes where Spongebob hasn't cried a whole day. That's a sign of showing discontinuity. And, uh, writers, do you just want to make us Spongebob fans look bad? Seriously? Do you guys just love to embarrass us? <sighs> a Day Without Tears. It's not a fantastic episode. It's a very memorable and enjoyable episode. I'm going to give this episode a solid 7 out of 10. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on the Spongebob episode, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!